Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood and Magic. Blood Arsenal Part 3 I think this is. Well I'm pretty sure it is. So let's get started. What I'd like to do today are three things really. I'd like to have a look at the uh, an alter add-on. Whether that's the right word. And we'll also have a look at whether it's possible to do a tier 6 alter. Uh, and if it works. And the last thing I'd like to do, well the first thing I'd like to do is look at this sentient um, Sigil, Sigil of Sentience. Let's get started. So the Sigil of Sentience, Sentient Tools, exclamation mark. I actually don't know how to use this. I'm going to be honest. It's, the recipe for it's fairly straightforward. It's just uh, it's a reasonable amount of will, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> um, with an air sigil, we've made air sigil. We've made a Sigil of Blood Lamp. We've made a uh, gem of Tartaric will, and we've also made a greater... Tartaric gem, a very expensive tool. Well, let's be honest. Um, and you put it in your offhand, and then you do something like oh, let's have a look, let's have a look at axe. And you're supposed to be able to throw it. And I don't know how you throw it. I really don't know. I can't figure out a key to doing this. <laughs> I've just haven't figured it out. So if anybody knows, please let me know because it's I'd like to solve solve this one. But it basically what it does, it should it should throw items. I just don't know how you throw the item, that's all. But I know you can throw the item down, for example. Let's go and throw down this sword. Let's go and do that with some mobs on. Uh, air sigil. Be always mobs over here. Oh creepers, I don't want to get rid of <laughs> don't want to be anywhere near the creepers. Um let's get the sword out here. So what I can do with this, for example, sword, if I throw it on the ground, now you've got control key, Q. Ah, uh, no, I haven't. Oh, yes, I have. You'll see it goes down there. And it follows me around, and it protects me. So here's a zombie coming over here. While the zombie's coming over here, I'm going to shoot at the um, creeper over there and get rid of him. You'll see he's disappearing over there. He's doing a bit of um, guarding. So over here, we should see the... I don't know how... I'm, I've used it a couple of times, but let's just get this one in my hand, which is this one. This is the Sharpness 5 one. And he should come and protect me. That's its intention. There you go. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Very useful as it happens. And when you want to pick it up, another creeper will get rid of him too. I wonder if it follows me if I fly over here because I really like this this flight. If I press space and jump up and then hold down the space because I've got the elytra uh, add-on, we will we'll glide over here, and I've got enough jumping height to actually make it reasonable, reasonably far distances. So let's have a look. Have we got any mobs in this direction? Yeah, there's a, there's a skeleton over there. Let's just see if I can bring him nearer to me and see if the sword will sort him out. There he goes. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Bit slow, but very good. Right, let's go back to base. Oh, another creeper over there. Just a creeper parties. Try a bit higher. That's him. Should, he should have gone in that one. So we'll use the air signal this time to go up a couple of blocks and we'll just glide over here. Oh no, he hasn't touched. He hasn't died. Where's the sword? Oh, there's more bobs coming over there. He should be around here fairly quickly. Uh, two. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's there. And he got the uh, he got the creeper. Fantastic. That's my that's my arrow. Another creeper over there. I love creepers, so I take every opportunity to grind a creeper when I get a chance like that. So let's just pick this guy up. And to pick him up again, all you have to do is shift right click him. And then he'll drop and then you can pick him up like this. Oops, <laughs> not with an arrow. Not with an arrow. <laughs> I wanted an empty hand. Let's try that again. Actually, I'm not sure I can do this in the water. It's a bit awkward because <laughs> I'm going to go... F oh, oh, yeah. There we got it. So we did pick it up again like that. Get these funny bubbles when I'm doing this. Is that because of the swimming? The swimming one, I think so. Let's go fly up. Oh, 
Oh, I built a little farm here because I wanted to make some. Um, I wanted some leather wart. I just, oops, I've got. Shouldn't do that with my sigil in the hand, should I? Uh, let's have a look. And sword will do. So I've got eight, eight nether wart in here. What I'm doing with that is I'm just mixing this with the um, some nether bricks like this. And I'll look the recipe for uses of that one. We can do this one. Make some red nether bricks. I still got a few more to go with. And, and they're, like, they're slightly, slightly different colour than the standard nether bricks, but that's that's what I was just playing with that. See what, how it works. The next thing I'm going to look at is actually the lightning sigil. So that's going to get put rid of the stuff I've been picking up. Here, what else to pick up? Bones, I guess. I didn't see any spiders. So here I've set up a little bit of redstone. And it's very simple. Basically got some... Actually, this is bloodstained glass. I wanted to see what bloodstained glass is like. So I've got two blocks high, six blocks down here. And then just two blocks beside it and a little bit just around here, just in case things... Because when the, this is a dropper, and the droppers throw things... Um quite far as it happens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the items that we need let me just get rid of some of this stuff I don't need these in here for the time being and I probably don't need much I'm not going to use a slight dumping just for the few seconds while I do this yeah that's plenty of space so I'll get out of here I've got the bits and pieces we need for to make a lightning um, a lightning reagent and I've made, I cheated this lightning signal in because I just can't figure out how to get lightning to strike a particular block. Real lightning, that is. It, it could do with a better way of doing this because I really don't know how to do it. So I just put these in here like that. And I need a piece of redstone, which I've got in here anyway. Let's get one out of here. Right, the redstone is just to finish off the, um, the circuit. Circuit's just a straightforward redstone clock. So a block with a torch. Uh, it's actually going to a repeater, going around here. When I put this piece of redstone in here, so there's only one, two, three pieces of redstone, plus your three that you need for that. So that's six pieces of redstone. You turn that, and it'll click things across. The only thing to make sure of it, this has to be at least two two ticks. One tick's too fast. Let's put it down like that. It starts to throw the things into there. And that's it. I can leave that clicking away. I won't be able to just unless it ignores them annoys people then we'll do that so now i've made sure i've got my magnet off because it's really um not the best thing to do is to have my signal of magnetism on it's off good then we have to strike this with a block of light uh, with a bolt of lightning now this thing here has got different modes so if we hold on it now see it's level one level one's fine we'll use do this on level one and just right click that area there like that it hurts. <laughs> hurts nearly every single time as it happens. So we've got a lightning region. But actually that's not all. This thing also has a lightning, um, a tier two. But let's just first of all do something incorrect. Because <laughs> to demonstrate stuff sometimes incorrect is also a good thing to do. Let's get that list again. This time we're going to get out two of everything. This one I haven't tried. I did try a stack. Of stuff well, I'll tell you what happens when I do the stack of stuff and then put that into here like this and then let's reconnect the circuit watch the stuff float into here like this a bit random it doesn't throw things in the in any sort of consistent order it just throws stuff in like that and then let's hit this again with a bolt of lightning on level one so what did I get this time I got one lightning reagent, but I put twice the ingredients in, and all the other ingredients have disappeared. I was good. When I did that with a stack, I was a bit irritated, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> as you can imagine. So the next thing we can do, let's do that again. This time we'll change the, the, the thing. We need to get out of here. Two of each of these again. What I'm doing is pressing, holding down the control button, pressing, uh, clicking, double clicking the mouse. So that's two of those. Let's put those back into here. Because it's a lot faster doing it this way than trying to do it manually. Then you mess it up and you've got to pick everything up again and off it goes. So throw it in here. This time we're going to change shift right click the signal, which will make it signal to level one, it says, to level two. Okay, that's done. A signal level two is a bit harder. Let's just try this block. Like, as you can see, it's starting to set things on fire like that. So what have we got in here? We've got at least two. So I've got two at the moment. You can, 
and jump in. This time we've got a four extra, so you did get double the amount. I was going, okay, let's just try this again. Now we, let's do this with three. So I don't want to be. I want to be consistent with this test, don't I? So let's get this one out again. So we'll see if we actually get three or more. Let's put those into here, and then let's finish the circuit off again like that and this time we're going to set this to level 3 set to level 3 so at the moment we've got 6 lightning reagents so if we put 3 you might expect to get what 6 or 9 so that's the question let's finish now I think break that off pick it up again and let's strike this one down here and as you can see I'm taking more damage, it's setting more things on fire. <laughs> and what have we got in here? 20. So that went from, my goodness, it really did produce a lot, didn't it? So there you are. And you can keep doing that until level 6. Actually, oh, whoops. Level 6 did, um, I haven't got my uh, elementary affinity signal on, I think, by the sounds of it. Let's just check it. No, it's not on. Now it's on. Probably a good thing to have that on when you're doing this as well. <laughs> so there we have it. So we have these 20 lightning re reagents. And then we can do the uses of these. So the uses of these is to make status plates with imbued slates. Okay. Let's go and make some status plates. So that's blood stained glass. We need five blood stained glass. Just I'm only going to make one or two of these because I should really make five. So we need 10 imbued slates. We need a lightning reagent and we need some bloodstained glass. So in here, just press shift, you should see which one it is. I've got sandy one of these. Where's it gone to? I thought it was I thought it was this oh yes, this one. This this one. I'm gonna cook this sand up into some glass anyway, so we'll cook the sand up. I think I might have some glass in here. No, I don't. That's not very really good. What did I put in here? Some I want some stone. I'll leave the iron in here. Cook meat. We'll leave the cooked meat in there. Glass. Maybe I've got some more glass lying around. Let's go and have a look. No. No glass there. But there might be some glass over the other side. Now, before I go to the other side, there's something else I want to show you. Here we've got the divinity reagent. Now, the divinity reagent is made with this stuff. We've looked at this before. But there's a crystal cluster. Now, a crystal cluster is what you need for a tier 6 altar. So it has a recipe. But if you look here for crystal cluster, so if you look here for crystal cluster, or just cluster will do, there is no cluster, you see. You look for crystals. Um... Oh, I spelt that wrong. Cutting edge, oh, it's crystal. I think I've just gone a bit crazy. CRY. Oh, yeah. Cluster. There is. I thought we had it. Oh, that's Blood Arsenal. Yes, of course. So let's just take that. I'll just get rid of the Blood Arsenal bit and then just try it like that. So you do get clusters, but they are the set, the will clusters, not the not this cluster so there's no recipe in here for that well there's no recipe in GI for this but you can make it so I thought right okay if I can make that and I can sort of put tier 6 altar so let's go and look at that and here it is so that's seven blocks high I believe one two three four five six seven and then the, the crystal cluster goes on the eighth uh, so great maybe this works so I didn't bother I didn't bother doing these, but I did have to raise everything up quite a long way. And let's have a look at this with the um say sigil. Where's it gone to? Here we are. Oh no, it's still tier five. But this is actually a really neat bit. This Altari Enematica. I think that's pronounced. Let's have a look at the recipe for very expensive as it happens, but you know. Let's want to go back to Blood Arsenal. Altari, this one. 
So we need weak milk charts, no big deal. Emeralds, no big deal. Outputting and inputting routing nodes, no big deal. Site, this is actually not, also not such a bad one. I had a spare divination signal anyway. There's nothing too much there. This the site doesn't use any will either, which is nice. And these things, now these are ridiculously expensive. So they're basically nine blood infused ingots. Um, the blood infused ingot is by doing this. We've done this before. We need 5,000 LP at tier three. So in effect, we need 18 times 5,000 LP. It's, that's like 90,000 LP. That's not such a problem. These things are. It's because these things require 32, two, 32 will per ingot. So you need that times um, nine, 18. So let's say that's almost about 600 will. 600 will, it takes a lot of gathering, I can tell you. <laughs> Bucket of life stuff, it's no big deal. Iron ingots and binding reagent, that's not. Also will, <laughs> 10 will. So each one of these requires at least 42 will. So it's a lot of will. Probably a bit, a bit too much will, I think, in that case. Then you've got to show it through the um, through the altar. But anyway, when you've got it, it's neat. It has this slot here for um, the blood orb. So let's go and make something. I want to make some say. I want to make some slates. I've got those programmed so that it actually takes them out of here. This routing node here will input it, and it will. The results will come out to this routing node above this double chest here, like this. And in here, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I've got uh, life essence buckets. I've got um, imbued slates, and I want ten. Ten that you can set it underneath. Actually, it goes to item amount ten. And 16 of those, 16 of those. So in the chest, if we do, it will first of all produce 16 reinforced, 16 blank, and then it'll produce 10 imbued. And after that, let's take these 10 out of here. I want to make these status blades. It will then start to produce ethereal slates. Um, there's no limit on life essence, by the way. I didn't take those out with me. Because what I was trying to figure out was how I can so let's show you how this works. Put as soon as you put these in here these slates in here, I've got nine slates, it swaps them over. So it takes the orb out of there and puts it in here. And these things go into this slot here. So as soon as they're finished and it's working by um you don't see any progress on this because it's oh actually we are seeing progress. I'm just a bit surprised. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Because I didn't see the charging didn't charge up, and I don't know why they've not charged up. Because this is a tier five altar, and these are displacement ruins, and these are charging ruins, so they should have charged up. It used to work, so now it's doing the sort of the other way. Um, you can press shift on here as well, by the way. That also shows you more information, shows you exactly what the blood in the altar is as well as life essence liquid life essence there we go so they that's the first level oh, it's going to take a while actually while i'm here we'll take the um the dagger here the dagger of self-sacrifice shift, shift left click this to get it off and then we get into here and we right click it and the reason I want to right click it is because it'll fill up the altar no problem. But only not only that, I want to show you this. We've actually got the will here now up to 300%, which is maximum. So that basically means it's going to give you 300% of whatever you're going to get from your self sacrifice nodes, um, stones here to do this. I also filled up the the missing corners on this. I think it makes a difference. So anyway, and we'll just put this back while that's cooking. I don't know why this, the displacement rooms aren't working though. I'm sure this must be right. Because what I did here, of course, is to put some iron blocks around the beacons to make them look a mm, bit better. Probably could use gold blocks, but it's a lot of gold. <laughs> and I moved the chickens and it picked up another chicken as well. This is a just with my sort of roller coaster for chickens going around here. <laughs> and they drop feathers. Hmm. Right. Next thing is this thing. And I haven't got this to work 
either. So we need these status plates, which we want to make here. And on these status plates, you have to put the ingredients. So if we have a look at this for refined blood um, essence, is this thing here, refined life essence. So a refined life essence is um, free, a refined life, let's try again, a refined liquid free from significant impurities found in normal life essence. It can be refined by the ritual of purification, which is what I've set up here, with a combination of redstone, blaze powder, ender pearl, and blood infused glowstone. Actually, it should be in glowstone dust, I think. So we've got that. We've got redstone, blaze powder, blood infused um, and glowstone, and dust, and an ender pearl. So in this tank here, I've got seven buckets of life essence in here i've got nothing and it's and this is active you can always tell if it's active by going to your which i need to get it out and i let's get this out your ritual tinkerer and shift getting it to the, the right mode um so it tells you it's the blood arsenal purification ritual info there is no info obviously otherwise it would have told you something but if you just if you don't do that, if you just click on something else, it doesn't tell you anything. It just, just, it just tells you it's tinkerer or whatever. Ritual tinkerer. So you know this is active. And I know you've got to have normal blood essence at the top and, re and refined blood essence will come out of the bottom. So you can fill it up again and make sure it's not a quantity thing. I can't think that 10 is a limit to this. Maybe there is, I don't know. And we can also put these up in here as well. While I'm doing that, let's put these into here. Because, um, so I shift click these into here like that. When these are finished, when did it go to? Do those buckets disappear somewhere? Or are they actually in here? I think they're in here as it happens. Uh, No, it didn't get put in here. That's strange. But there are some quirky bits here that definitely are quirky. Um, let's have a look. Let's just sort my inventory and see, see if they turn up again. Nope, don't see them. I've got to wait for this. That's actually a nuisance. No, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why. I can't think of a reason why this would suddenly not work. You could, this is actually a little bit higher, so you can go underneath it as well. Um, it's got space underneath. This is supposed to be space enough under here for... It looks quite cool, actually, doesn't it? That's why I didn't close it up. Um, I got, this is where the farm was. I had to knock the farm down. You can just see there's a block there. <laughs> but this space is supposed to be big enough for a well of suffering. So if you have a well of suffering here underneath that, some mobs you should get the, your blood going in that way. That's the intention of this. Where are those buckets gone to? We will see. Because I, I have no idea at the moment. Let's just move this out. I put my Sears signal back again. How much have we got in here? Oh, it's nearly done. Tell me what I'm actually making. I know these are reinforced because they're green and the imbued ones are blue. There we go. So, <laughs> I don't think that bar's right either. <laughs> no. But the buckets have disappeared. I had three buckets of mine. I shift click them in somewhere and they just disappeared. Well, thank you. And they don't seem to be around anywhere else. And there's nothing around here that could pick them up as far as I know. I doesn't mean to say I haven't left something lying around that's inappropriate. But I just seem to have lost three buckets. <laughs> oh well, never mind. But that was definitely working. Let's just make some more buckets if I've got any more iron and I can hit the right chest. I've got some iron here. Uh, oops. Fine, that's a good idea. I should turn on my signal again, shouldn't I? Signal of magnetism. Just see if those buckets have disappeared somewhere else. Because in here it would pick anything up. I think they just disappeared, didn't they? Anyway, let's make some more buckets. 
it didn't work as expected. Um, how many are you going to make? I'll make three buckets again, I think. So let's put the buckets into here. If I shift click them in, see this time it worked. So it swaps over the orb and it brings the orb back when this is finished. Now the next thing I wanted to do was to take the blood out of here and feed that into, this will take a few seconds, and when they're finished they'll end up in this chest over here. That's three different buckets. Um, 3,000 actually won't take very long to do, I don't think. There we go, like that. Um, and I got those nine imbued slates, so I can leave them like that. Put another piece of stone in it, it'll get made up. But I'm a bit surprised why it's not going into these displacement ruins. I don't know what I've done wrong. Because actually, I didn't do the altar. I used the ritual of high the high altar. And here, what I did here is I've basically got. Uh, let's just use this bound pickaxe. I made a hole so that the bottom of the ritual could sit down so it goes out five ways that way five ways this way and I lit it up to make sure that we wouldn't have a problem so that was that three blocks down I think and then that brings it to this level so really I would have probably been better doing four blocks down and I'm just using a blank ruin here just to fill it in so I know where the holes are and as you can see these were all picked up old feather great exactly on the corners of the bottom block here in all cases so you know that that's the intention I'm not quite sure why it was built up so high because I have three extra blocks is quite, makes this quite a, a very high thing maybe it's to do with the um, the rituals you want to put underneath it but you know you can easily dig down it, it would actually be quite nice if you could control it um, But anyway, that's irrelevant for today. So now we've dealt with that one. Let me get rid of this feather because I've, got, I've, I've, got, I've um, harvested all my chickens in the other place because they were driving me crazy. So the next thing I want to do is this blood tank. And what I thought of here is I wanted to get the blood out of here like this. This is just an input routing node. So it doesn't take do anything. You don't really want to filter inputs. You only ever want to filter outputs. So here I've got an output routing node here. Hold on. Input routing node. Oh, oh I am stupid. Ah, oh, that's probably why. I thought it was an output routing node. There we are. Well, I've got a spare one of those around here somewhere. I think it's in here or here. Yes, maybe I just put that on the wrong one. Well, that wouldn't be a total surprise, would it? Let's get rid of this iron in here. No, I get to the right chest, that is. So maybe it does work. Let's see if it, see if it does work. I wonder if that explains why the other thing's not working. Let's just jump up. Actually, jump up on top of this tower piece. I can reach it from there, I think. Yeah. And I've got an egg. Thank you, chickens. Let's get rid of this egg. So let's break this. Can I reach that one? Maybe I'm up too high. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll jump down again and put on the top one. Break that one. I've got this fluid filter inside there as well. Let's just break it. No big deal. Let's put the output routing node in its place. Yeah, that works. So in this filter here, I should have, I want to put in a bucket of life essence. So obviously down. So I need to go and get a bucket of life essence. Like that. And then... another egg let's put this into here like this life essence and we'll give it a limitation of say mm, at the moment it's, let's give it 16 as, a, as an, a limitation say how many there are so it's going down so now hopefully I'm, what I'm hoping to see in here is actually does 
increase the amount of life to efforts in this zone. Well, we got 10. Uh, this time we've got definitely an output routine node that's going down. So it should, I hope. This is a bit I don't understand. Because this is actually filtering a bucket of life essence. And actually what I want is... Um, let's just get rid of this one. That's that one. I don't really want the bucket of life essence. I want life essence. But I don't see how you can put this one into here. I've no idea how you do it. So what I was hoping is now that this will take out of here blood and it doesn't seem to do because it's exactly 80.6 buckets of blood in the old as you can see 8.8554 is the actual milli buckets so it isn't moving so that, and they are oh of course that's not linked up am I right let's make sure it's linked up because I just broke the other one which I had linked so now I need to go to my let's put this one I need to get rid of this egg we'll get rid of the egg we need the ender seal the ender seal is great love it put that there let's get rid of this egg again the worst thing that happens of course is that chickens end up somewhere else so let's get this shift right click on that one Let's go and find out where this one's been pointing to. It's pointing to this master ritual. I think this master note here. Like that. And let's see if this is actually working. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working, does it? So now I've actually set it up correctly. It still doesn't work. And this ritual is not working either. But there are some more rituals that we could actually have a look at, I think, next time. Because um, where is my ritual divine? I haven't got one yet. I wanted to make the status plates because these are two types of status plate. This is also confusing because they're both called the same thing. If you look in here and you look at the status plates. Here we go. So this is a oh, it's about, uh, not that one a status plate, and this is also a status plate. You'll see, but one of them's different. You've got different um, IDs, same name, different IDs. Um, this is a base item. This is a status plate. So I don't know why it's called it the same things. Anyway, the, the ones you need are this one here. So the recipe for uh, try again. Get rid of that base. Clicking off there and pressing the recipe for this one. It's a little bit more expensive, so you need five of these status plates. Um, a blood altar and two infused iron. So, and these things are imbued in slates, bloodstained glass and lightning. So it's not too bad. It's just this iron bit that bothers me most of the time. <laughs> it's just the will. You spend all your night going grinding mobs to get the will in order to, do the, uh, to get the iron. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it um, and learnt something new. At least learnt what you can't do. Anyway, until next time, when I try to do another ritual from Blood Arsenal, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.